So it's like whether we like it or not, di uh, digital technology mm. um, affects our affects our health. You know, the, uh, but again, straight away, if you mention it to people, the first thing they say, "I've oh, spent too much time." Crazy. You know, but again, it, it's about understanding more than that. It's like technology is just things that you interact with and use. Mm. You know, it used to be the printing press. You know, 100 years ago, people couldn't read. Now, I can't everybody have everybody reading. It'd be scandalous. And <laughs> kind of women reading and all these things. Yeah. And then suddenly you got access to reading, and now it's suddenly access to the internet. So what I found was I had a really hard time. I literally had a breakdown and like coming back and keeping well. And some of the things I realised was, you know, things like social media, um, which gets a bad rap phones all these things they have an impact on your, on your health if you if you were to just literally like set a timer on your phone and go like scroll the internet and check in with yourself 20 minutes later and say like, how do i feel yeah. but also the amount of information that we get given now mm. and subjected to is a lot yeah so i'm not saying it's a bad or a good thing yeah it's just like your body it's not a bad or a good thing but it's an essential aspect of the health yeah. and technology is moving closer and closer and closer into your body i'm wearing contact lenses mm. they're literally on my eyes mm. You know, yeah. we put um, earphones in our ears, we have pacemakers inside our chests. And now with cell technology means we're gonna have like, literally, you will be able to inject like little mini machines that can help you with your white blood cells. So the point is that stuff's coming, yeah. And like a lot of things, people straight away they go, it's a thing, but like, I didn't realize it's, it's a thing. I feel we need to <clears throat> understand it before it becomes an issue, mm -hmm. you know? It's kind of like, say, um, if you're having a drink and you, you want to do responsible drinking, you don't wait until you're an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. We go, I could have like gotten a handle on that. Mm -hmm. And it's the same kind of thing. People, I, I don't think it's enough for people to have conversations about things. Mm -hmm. You've got to do stuff about it. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a way of living your life that's a positive, happy way. Mm -hmm. And then again, I, I always think, all right, so what would I do? Or what do I do? What can people do? And that's why it's practical. Mm -hmm. It's not just preaching at people saying, this is a thing. It's mm -hmm. like, here's what I think. And here's what you can try. Mm -hmm. Because if you get it right, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some wonderful aspects to it, but you get it wrong, it can be horrendous, like it, horrendous. Um, so yeah, it's an essential aspect. It's such an important aspect to our health. What are like some quick tips that you could give to anyone about sure. digital health? What S could you yeah. do? Yeah, sure, sure. So like, um, if you have all your apps on your phone, social media apps, mm. okay. If you deleted them on a Friday night till Sunday for two days of the weekend, that's 104 days without social media in a year. That's cool. That's nearly a third of a year. So there's there's that one. The second one I always do is setting timers on your phone. Mm. Whenever you engage in, say, social media or on your phone, something like that. So 20 minutes, for example. Mm. It's plenty of time. You'd be amazed what you can do in 20 minutes. Mm. Timer goes off, get off it. Mm. Mindlessly scrolling. I mean, I literally do it when I do my social media. I, I post content, engage with other people, and build relationships. If I find myself mindlessly scrolling, that's when I jump off. And you know when you are. Mm. You know, you're just like, mm, mm. you know, if you say to yourself, why am I here? And you don't have an answer, get off. Yeah. You know? Um, and then the third one is sleep, uh, and this is controversial, when it gets so much stick for it, is yeah. <laughs> sleep with your phone outside your bedroom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Seriously. Put it outside. <clears throat> People say, like, yeah, but it's my alarm. It's my alarm too. I get up at five in the morning, every morning. It doesn't fail. People say, well, I've got kids and stuff. Fine, fine, fine. Find a way that works. Though. Yeah. Seriously. Like, put it inside a box and create, like, an echo chamber. And like, get Alexa to hook it up or something. But seriously, because again, it's like your sleep is your time. Mm decompress if you think you know, I'm old enough to remember you went on the internet and then you came off the internet mm. now with broadband the internet doesn't switch off mm. but human beings need to switch off and even if you're just in your bedroom you're lying there thinking about oh, no, I just check something it's there mm. Mm. and that's not cool if you're trying to look after yourself because you know life's gonna hit you hard and give you knocks and you've got to rest that's one thing I've, I've learned mm. you've got to look after yourself mm. it's essential because oh, I don't get enough sleep I don't. you could mm. you really really could mm. So yeah, so find outside the bedroom, set the timers on the phone, and consider the social media deletion, or at least just like, a friend of mine said, I couldn't do that, but I could put it onto the third page. Yeah, so yeah. when you're swiping across, it's like, further away. And I said, well, that's baby steps, like, that's impressive. Oh, like, oh, I know, but she was like, I'm not ready for that. And I was like, it's okay, I'll hold your hand. Like, you know, this, we'll, this, get this, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs>